there, Alti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 4. In the last episode, we introduced Metal Sonic and saw how he went from Little Planet back on Sonic CD all the way to here, because that was definitely something that that was definitely a loose end that needed to be tied up. In this episode, Sylvania Castle Zone, we're actually starting Sonic the Hedgehog uh, 4 episode 2 now with the new co content. Um, so let's go ahead and play Act 1, which has been played again. I mentioned how previously, uh, I had that one thing. I think all we're really missing is this, like, this big opening cutscene where, like, Sonic and Tails fly in on the tornado. I don't know, I wanted to make a new save, I don't... I don't think it really matters that much to make a new save just for one little cutscene. If you really want to see it, I'm sure somebody else has it. But it's it's Sonic 4 Episode 2. Do you really care about a five second cutscene of uh a five second cutscene of like Sonic and Tails flying the tornado? I don't think it really matters that much. So yeah. Uh, this is a new feature that I know is in this game. Uh, you press the button and Tails can fly you around. It's a tag team action. There are several tag team actions. One of them is like the super spin dash thing. One of them is that little flight thing. I have. I think you have to be in the air to do the flight thing. Oh, that reminds me. There are red rings in this game. I think I got them all in this first stage just out of curiosity back in the day. Um, I don't know what they do. But they exist, so that's neat. I don't need your bubble. I ain't in trouble. But yeah, I got all the red rings, but I guess they look... They, they're still somewhat present enough that you can see where they're supposed to be. So that's nice. Uh, but yeah, the nice thing about this game is that it actually looks decent. Like, look at this. I'm actually Sonic this time. I'm not, like, this weird plastic knockoff thing. And now Tails is here. I don't know how much better that makes it, but Tails is here. Don't hit me, Rhino Bot. And I do like the look of this area. Like, it looks nice. This whole area does look nice. All things considered, like, it's visually more appealing because it doesn't try and do anything weird, it's just... It just exists as, a, as its own thing, and that's nice. I like things looking nice, you know? It feels like Episode 2 did try a little bit harder. Also, love this song! Yeah. Song 4 Episode 2 is definitely where I feel like a lot of the... I feel like Jun Tsunoe, uh really got his groove with a lot of the pseudo-Genesis-style songs. Uh, with Episode 2, because they sound really good. I really like this game's soundtrack, honestly. I feel like it's actually one of the most underrated Sonic soundtracks. As we listen to the same music from Episode 1. But yeah, I really, I do really love just how groovy a lot of these songs are. And Sylvania Castle Zone Act 2 is definitely one of my favorites. It's not my absolute favorite song in this game, but it's like one of the top ones. I really love just how it sounds. And so yeah, I don't know, like, normally I'm not one to like rave about Sonic music because like everybody generally knows that Sonic music is good. That's not really it. A question that most people have about Sonic music. Like, people will usually say, like, even for the bad Sonic games, they have good soundtracks, but, like, I feel like a lot of people just make fun of this game's soundtrack for, like, mostly a particular song that I'll get into later. But, yeah, I don't know. I think this... I think this game does have a good soundtrack. Am I supposed to... Is this? Fly over like a wall or something? I guess so. I can homing attack those for some reason, but I'm not sure what the point is. I think there's a bumper on the top on the bottom version of it. 
Suddenly, Sonic's walk running on water. I wonder how these games would feel if they had the boost formula, if they were more like Rush. Would things feel better in these games, or would they feel worse? I genuinely don't know. One thing I do wonder is how many sequence breaks there are with this Tails cl clip. Because I guarantee they did not consider everything that you can do with the Tails thing. When designing these levels. Oh! Tails! That's what I was missing before, though. You hit the bumper. Y you hit the bumper, and it flips upside down, and then you bounce on top. That's what you're doing. That's what I was missing earlier. Alright. Do 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 do. Alright, well, I found a special sage. I'm not going to be doing these, but... Okay. They're basically the Sonic 2 special stages, which I never really even showed. Because, you know, nostalgia and everybody loves these things. Although, with a better frame rate, it might be a little better to get through them. Cool! Feeling good! Get 100 rings. Alright, well, I only need about 40 more. I missed those, though. That's not a good thing. I'm missing rings. I need more rings. Please give me rings. Oh, I can jump. Well, I got plenty rings. Cool! How many do I need? for the next checkpoint, because it's usually three. I already have 150, but there's probably going to be bombs. I'm not sure what that was about. Well, I got the Chaos Emerald. Again, I'm not going for the Chaos Emeralds, but I kind of wanted to see what these were like, because I didn't really experience a uh, special stage in this game before. Yep, okay. Alright. Let's move on. Submarine combo unlocked. Yep. What is with the Sonic Adventure 2? Ugh. Moonlit Realm. Whatever. Another awesome song that I like. And also, it's interesting that, like, we're starting out with some water segments. In... In, in this game, like, it's not often you see water in, like, a first level of a Sonic game. Although I have to wonder how much of the... How much of the level they, like... Alright, this is when we want to be on the ground and do the Ultra Spin. I don't know how it works. Okay, you don't press anything. Doesn't seem to end unless you just keep hitting walls. Or you just hit the X button. It's a neat thing, I suppose. I do- I- it is- I can't really fault these, like, little ability maneuvers, like, at, at least right now, like, because all they really do is add, like, things you can do to the game, and, like, that's not really necessarily a bad thing. They don't- play terribly, like, they don't ruin things, like...
It just, there are things that you can do, and like, it's neat to have Tails be a little bit more proactive when you're in single player mode. I like the little cricket sounds in the background. The nighttime nature of this area is cool, but I did- I kinda liked it better at sunset, but it also makes sense that, like, you know, this is the natural progression of it, after all. Sunset leads to nighttime. I wonder why you can homing attack those. I don't trust homing attacking those. For the most part, though, this does feel like Sonic 4 Episode 1, but I will say it does feel slightly better. I'm not sure what's changed about it, but there is something that feels better about Episode 2 so far. It might honestly just be level design. I feel like I am doing a little bit more than I was before. Hey, look, there's signs that indicate an actual bottomless pit. That's nice. Do, 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 do. No. Oh, you can move the platforms if you only attack them. Oh! Tails! Don't know if there's instant death down there, but I don't want to find out. That was fancy. Eh, I'll go for it. Sure, why not? If I do ever want 100% every Sonic game, which is something that I've thought about, I don't know if I, it's something I actually really want to do, but if I do ever 100% every Sonic game, then this is one I'm going to want 100%, and so, like, having any progress done is better than nothing. So, might as well give it a shot. Get 100 rings. And, like, to be fair, it is a part of the game. Like, there's no reason to completely avoid doing it if I have, a, if I have 50 rings at the end of the stage. Might as well give it a shot, you know? How many do I need to get now? Two hundred. Alright. Spring... Am I missing something about that? Well, I missed the spring. I don't know what that's gonna do to me. Why does Tails look so upset? I don't know why. <laughs> he's like, is it just cause he's not doing- get, get, doesn't- he's not getting as many? Is that- is that it? Alright, well, I seem to have gotten this one, so that's two Chaos Emeralds down. Neat. Huzzah, we did the thing. Do, 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 do. You can skip that. Yes, I know I got an extra life. Good job. Okay. Dueling Eggman's new creation. I think this is the same song from the episode one. This isn't a new creation, this is just Aquatic Ruin Zone! Up. Oh. I guess not. It's a plant thing. Oh, so it was just a bait! I can- I can- I appreciate that, actually. That's actually pretty funny, considering how every boss from Episode 1 was... 
based on a boss from the original trilogy, like, so, baiting and switching like that is actually pretty funny. I don't know how good this boss is gonna be. I'm mostly just running around and hitting it. It hasn't seemed to attack yet, but... That is still pretty funny. Also, I forget, I can do this. Oh, he's in the background. Oops. I messed up. Oh well. Getting out of the move is actually kind of weird feeling. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Here, Tails, keep me up here. Until... Oh, you have a limit. This is not a very exciting boss, actually. Not sure what's going on now. Damn it, you closed. Don't close. Uh oh. Okay, well, that was three minutes of boredom. That wasn't that hard, it was just tedious. Oh well. Yay! Look at all these birds. Tonka Tails defeated the boss. Yeah, I'll play the next act. Why not? We'll see what we're getting in ourselves in for. White Park Zone, Act 1, Snowblind Wonderland. How'd we get here? Who knows? There's a roller coaster. The snow here looks really weird. Something about it doesn't look right. I don't really like the shadows here. Hmm. Well, there's a red ring up there. The red rings might only be in Act 1 of a, of a stage, because I don't remember seeing any in... in, like... Act... in the, in the past few stages, so... Maybe they are just an Act 1 thing? That's certainly possible. I wouldn't put it past anything. I do at least appreciate that Sonic 4 Episode 2, I keep wanting to call this Sonic 2. I appreciate that Sonic 4 Episode 2 at least did try to vary its, like, theme locale, so it kind of combined a castle with a water it, and sunset stuff. It combines an ice level with a theme park level. At the, at the very least, these first two areas are feel a little nicer. Uh, I know what's coming next. I am aware of the stages that are next, so I do know at the very least that doesn't unfortunately last 
but oh well. I want to ride the ponies. Through the snow! Whee! Oh, that got cancelled, because I'm on a snowboard! Climb me up, Tails, I want to go up there. Damn it, you suck. I... I don't really like this song that much. It's a bit too repetitive. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? Going the wrong direction! Can't change the direction when doing that. Yeah, this is... As a song, playing it in the stage... Oof. I'm sick of this. There's definitely a red ring hidden in the snow, by the way. I guarantee that much. There's no way there's not a red ring hidden by the snow there. I'm going that way, I guess. I don't really want to go that way. Snowboarding! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Tails, get back from the void. Please and thank you. I like how Tails is too late, but he still makes it anyway. Alright. Well, I'll finish the episode with one more special stage and see how I do. So far, episode 2 is going fairly okay. All things considered. I think it's better than episode 1 so far, but we'll see how it turns out, because I don't want to judge based on early impressions. If I judged based on early impressions, Sonic Heroes would be amazing. But we all know it's not. Or at least I hope we all know. Or can at least un- or can at least understand why it wouldn't be amazing for others. Because I can respect that other people will have different- differing opinions and can like things that other people dislike. You know? 200? Alright. I missed the spring there. I wonder what the springs are for. Like, do they just get you, like, extra rings and stuff? That would be my guess, like, if you're... If you can nab one, you get, like, you get sent to an extra place with more rings on it, you know? That would be my guess. Alright, get 300 or 350? 300. I should be able to do this. Oh, that was um, some sort of tag team thing. I missed it. I don't know what it was gonna do, but... I mean, I got 300 anyway, so... GG! These special stages are not that hard so far, but I've only done three out of seven, so... Yay! Good job, you two. We did the thing. Alright. So, with that, I think I'm gonna be done, and I'm gonna be done with this entire session, because I played all of Sonic ep Episode 1 and the past two episodes in one session. So I'm gonna be done for now. Because I'm Sonic 4'd out for now. Yes, I'm aware. I I'm aware. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so we have White Park and Oil Deserts also unlocked. So I guess you can do those in any order, but yeah. Next time on Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 2, 
we're going to be going, returning to White Park and probably getting a little bit into Oil Desert. See you guys then. We might even be getting more Chaos Emeralds, who knows.